Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can submit a bounty proposal using the Polkadot.js apps. In here, we are on the Polkadot.js apps. I'm currently connected to the Kusama network. I will use Kusama for this specific tutorial. Everything will be exactly the same for Polkadot. The first thing we need to do is to go under the governance tab and bounties. We are here already. And then we click on the button add bounty. We can add a bounty title. Then we can request the allocation in KSM tokens. Here you can see there is a bounty bond that is dependent on uh, the bounty title length. We need to use an account to submit the bounty proposal. And here we use the KSM stash account. We click on add bounty. We click on sign and submit. The Polkadot browser extension will display us some information about the specific transaction that we are signing, if we are happy with, uh, with it and everything uh, looks fine, we can sign this transaction. We can see the transaction has been successful and here under bounties, we can see our bounty proposal. We can expand the menu here and uh, we can see some information about the proposer. This is K the KSM stash and the bond that is reserved for the specific proposal. We can uh, go on the link of uh, Polka Assembly. In here we can see that uh, there is kind of a default template and uh, if we log in on Polka Assembly with uh, the proposer account, the KSM stash, we can uh, exactly um, specify more detailed information about this proposal. So we try to log in here, we use uh, the Polkadot.js extension. Here we select the account that, um, that we use to propose the bounty. We click on login. We will need to authorize the access of um, our data from uh, the Polka Assembly app by signing this message from the Polkadot browser extension. And now we are logged in with uh, our account and uh, we can uh, edit the information here. You can see the edit menu. We can delete the default template. And here we can add some uh, information about the bounty proposal. In this specific case, we will just add some information that this is a trial bounty exactly created for the purpose of this tutorial. When we finish to edit the information, we can click on submit. And now the updated description is on Polka Assembly. After this stage, you can notify in the Polkadot Direction element channel about your bounty proposal so that the community can start to review the proposal and uh, comment about uh, what you are trying to do. The bounty is now ready to be submitted as an OpenGov referendum for vote by the community. We can go back to the Polkadot.js apps we go under Governance, Referenda, we click on the Add Pre-Image button, we select the Bounties Palette. Within the Bounties Palette, we select the Approve Bounty function. Then we need to specify the Bounty ID, which is exactly the ID that we saw before when we um, proposed the bounty. Note that uh, submitting a pre-image will move some of your free uh, funds into a reserved state and this will stay um, reserves until the bounty is either approved or rejected. In that case, the, the proposer will need to manually unlock the funds. We can now submit the pre-image. We sign and submit. We successfully submitted the pre-image. If we go under Governance, Pre-images, we can see our pre-image here, bounties, approved bounty. And here the account and uh, the reserved balance for this pre-image in uh, KSM tokens. Now that we have a pre-image for our bounty, we can uh, submit a proposal in OpenGov. To do so, we go under Governance, Referenda, we click on Submit Proposal. Polkadot OpenGov has different tracks with different privilege levels and uh, different functions. The treasury has specific tracks and uh, these specific tracks also have different ranges of uh, spending. 
So depending on how much you are requesting with your bounty, you will need to select the best track that uh, matches your request. In this case, we requested 1KSM and the best track that uh, we can use for this is the small tipper. So we select the small tipper track. This is an origin able to spend up to 8KSM for the treasury at once. Then we will need to uh, specify the pre-image hash. This is the hash that we copied before. So we go to the document where we saved the hash. We copy the hash and we paste it in here. We click on Submit Proposal. We click on Sign and Submit. We successfully submitted the proposal in OpenGov. In the referenda page, we can see under the specific track Small Tipper our proposal, bounties.approve bounty. This is the referendum 280. And we can see information about the depositor and the phase of uh, the referendum, which is currently in preparing phase. If we do not place a decision deposit, the referendum will time out and our initial submission deposit will be slashed and not available anymore. This is to prevent spamming with uh, referenda that are not important for the community. In this case, we click on decision deposit. This is the referendum ID for our referendum and the decision deposit is 0.03 KSM. So we decide to place the deposit, click on sign and submit, and we sign with our KSM stash. The deposit has been successfully placed. We can see that the same account here in our case um, submitted the, um, the referendum and also placed the deposit. But uh, the two accounts do not need necessarily to be the same. As you can see here, there are different accounts that, um, that place the deposit. It's important to notice that the amount of the decision deposit is track dependent. So in different tracks, you will need to deposit a higher amount if uh, the track is for higher uh, spendings. For example, here, the small tipper is just for 8KSM and the deposit is very small. But uh, for example, the medium spender where the spending amount is uh, definitely higher will uh, need a higher decision deposit. As we did for the bounty, we can uh, expand the menu here and go to Polk Assembly. And as we did before, with uh, if we log in with um, the account that we use to propose the referendum, we can edit the information that is um, connected, that is linked to the specific referendum, add uh, more description so that the community can comment and send feedback in the comment section. Once you provided the contextual information about uh, your referendum, you can announce the referendum in the polka.direction element chat and invite the community to review and vote on your referendum. If the bounty is approved by the community as an OpenGov referendum, at the end of the spending period, you will be able to see the bounty as funded in the main bounty page here. All right, I hope you learned something today about how to submit a bounty proposal on Polka.js. Thank you for watching and I see you in another video.